Okay, I'm ready. Let's hear the comment. There's almost nothing in there that's truly practical, which is the point of minimalism. <laughs> okay, next one. You sure added junk to her space. <laughs> okay. <laughs> one more? Do we have one more? Just for good measure? That ladder you said it was beautiful was truly hideous. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra and today I am tackling a redo of a makeover I did two years ago for my sister's bedroom. I think this video has the most negative comments out of all my videos on my channel. I mean, some of those comments were just like savage. It has a million views, which is really quite great, but a lot of you thought that I just missed the mark with this makeover. It is so interesting to me to see how far I've come in two years and how these makeovers have just evolved to be bigger and better. So comments like this don't really bother me anymore. I think it was such a learning experience starting this channel and I find them more funny. So two years later, I thought I would give it another go. <laughs> and really try to create a beautiful space for her. I want to give a huge shout out to Function of Beauty for sponsoring today's video. I'm a huge fan of Function of Beauty. I have got my sister on the Function of Beauty train, so it's very fitting that they're sponsoring today's episode. Let's get started. context my sister lives in the house that I used to live in my family home way back right when I started this channel actually and her bedroom is in my old bedroom so if you're an OG AG subscriber you will recognize this bedroom my sister has since moved into the home and she has roommates so let's take a look at what this bedroom looks like now the walls are the same beige as when this was my room they haven't been painted or updated in a long time I'm finding that the positioning of all the furniture is not really working. You have this massive dresser off to your right, right when you walk in, it almost juts out of it into the door frame. The bed is also under the window and I feel like the headboard right now is kind of blocking all that light. Now, just like two years ago, my sister doesn't like any color, which is going to be a challenge because you guys know color is my thing. I love filling spaces with color. We're like polar opposites that way. We have very different styles. The only color that's in here right now is the brown color of the jute rug, which I'm going to keep. And I think she has like a salt lamp in the corner, but that's it. That's all I've got to work with. I want to bring her a cozy, warm, and inviting space that literally uses no color. So that's the challenge. A cozy, inviting, warm space with absolutely zero color. <laughs> Let's hope that I pull this off. Hi guys. So it is Friday and it's officially makeover day. I'm in my sister's bedroom, which is kind of funny because as I mentioned in the intro, this used to be my bedroom. I showed you guys the befores, but I want to give you an update shot. So this is what the room is looking like now. My mom, while she was here, painted the whole room white. My dad filled in like any cracks that were in the walls and what a difference. Like that beige color was nice, but I've been on the wall for years and I just wanted something clean and fresh because that's like my sister's aesthetic she just likes things clean. This white is kind of creamy. It's not quite an off-white, but it definitely has some gray undertones to it. So I'm gonna start repositioning all the furniture. The first thing I'm gonna move is this little bookshelf that's sitting here. It's kind of just like in the middle of this alcove and I actually got my sister a much more efficient and condensed storage solution. So I'm getting rid of that and I'm thinking that this alcove is gonna be turned into her dresser area. She has this massive TV, it used to be mine, and I think it's gonna look a lot better tucked away in this alcove. Okay, let's move the dresser. It already looks so much better. Look at how much free space is here right when you walk in. And that dresser just fits so perfectly in that alcove. So now I'm gonna pivot her bed so it's not under the window. My bed was under the window when this was my room, but I didn't have a headboard, so it wasn't like encroaching on the window. And it's just, I don't know, I just don't think it's working. So I'm gonna pivot the bed. So you walk in, the bed's there, and then it's across from the dresser. And then now I'm gonna move that desk out of the way. Yeah, 
I think that feels so much better. Just ignore all the stuff, but dresser there, desk there. This is gonna be a place for a storage unit. So now I'm bringing that giant TV back in the room and I'm putting it on top of the dresser. Disclaimer, I know it's not gonna look the prettiest, but the reality is my sister watches TV from bed, so she spends a lot of time in here. And that just seems so much better than being like against the other wall where it was. It's nicely tucked away. So we're gonna put it up there and then add lots of art in other places of the room so it's not like the focal point of the room. Okay, so Lana and I just carried up the big storage unit from Ikea. So my original plan was to have this area to be like a vanity area. She has a desk downstairs. So she doesn't need a desk in here, which is great, but she has a lot of jewelry and like makeup and stuff. So I got her this unit so she could store all of that stuff that was in that tiny bookshelf that we got rid of and where she could store her makeup as well. So we're gonna build the unit, place it, place the mirror and see how it all looks. Alana's going to finish building this cabinet, but for now, I'm gonna work on hanging a gallery wall behind my sister's bed. So originally, I really wanted to paint a half wall with gray, but my sister is like very against any color. Like she just wants it black and white, super simple. So instead, I thought I would use all this art that she has. I picked up a couple other pieces. This one and these guys, but she already has so many big pieces of art. So I thought they would look really good above her bed. So I'm gonna try and figure that out, hang some pictures up and make it into this really lovely gallery wall above her bed. So that'll be the statement wall. Just finished hanging the gallery wall. This is what it's looking like. So good. It's honestly just like so my sister. She just likes black and white. So we found her all black and white prints. And plus she had some of these already, so it was nice to be able to reuse stuff she already had. So Alana's still building the storage cabinet. It's taking us forever because it's such a large piece of furniture. It's almost done. And now I'm just gonna go back to focusing on the vanity area. So originally my plan was to put this big shelf right here. So let's try that. But the only thing is that I have that big white mirror. <gasps> Ooh, yeah! That's perfect. Even though it's not centered, it creates this little like moment in here. You guys, I have a fun hack. Danny Berger taught me this. When you are hanging something with two screws and you wanna make sure you're getting the exact right distance in between them, just take some painter's tape, tape it over the holes and then just put a dot where your screw is gonna sit in. Right at the bottom. And then all you need to do is take that piece of tape and put it where the picture, or in this case, the mirror is gonna go on the wall. And that's how you know exactly where your screws have to go. It's genius. Now that this vanity area is complete and my sister has an area where she can get ready at every day, I'm placing a little gift for her. It's some of Function of Beauty's customized hair care. Olivia is a huge fan of Function of Beauty. She discovered them after watching my videos. The other day she was like, hey, do you have another discount code for Function of Beauty? Because I want to order some. And I was like, well, actually, they're sponsoring your video. If you guys aren't familiar with Function of Beauty, it is a completely customizable hair care and body care brand. So all you do is fill out their really simple quiz. You pick your hair goals. In this case, my sister picked anti-frizz, the deep condition, she wanted to fix her split ends, volumize, and lengthen. The scent of the shampoo and conditioner doesn't smell synthetic, but at the same time, whenever I use it, I can like smell it in my hair, but it's not overpowering. And that's because you can also pick the amount of scent you want in your shampoo or conditioner. It really is completely customizable to your preference. It has no parabens, sulfates, GMOs, toxins. It's 100% vegan and cruelty free. The packaging is so cute. You get your name on the bottle and you get to pick cute colors. And it also comes with these fun stickers. Like who doesn't want to put these fun stickers on their shampoo bottles? 
I don't know. I love how cute these bottles look in my bathroom, but I also love even more how much this hair care works for me. If you wanna try some of your own function of beauty, make sure you click my link down below to get 20% off your first order. Okay, so now I'm going to hang some new curtains. Olivia has this blind, but I wanted to add lots of texture, lots of flowiness. So I just got some basic white curtains and I'm gonna hang those up now. She already has a curtain rod actually that was installed. She just didn't have curtains on it. Texture is so important when you are someone like my sister who doesn't like color. If you're just gonna go with whites and grays and blacks, you wanna make sure you're adding in lots of texture through textiles or you know bedspreads, pillows. That's gonna bring the coziness up a lot and not make it feel so cold. Two people who do this really well are Tristan and Lynn Knowlton. They're a mother-daughter duo. I'm gonna pop up one of their photos here. And they just love like whites and grays, but they really make their spaces feel cozy and homey and warm by adding in a ton of that texture. My pals at Article sent me this absolutely beautiful armchair. It's kind of low to the ground. It's gray. I wanted to add in a few varying neutral colors because all white just would have looked like really cold and sterile. So she can read in this chair. She can work on her laptop. Let's be real. She can throw her clothes on it, which is what will probably happen. The shade. This poof that I'm placing by the vanity also has some gray and white in it. And I just feel like it gives this room a little bit more warmth. Thank you so much to Article for gifting this gorgeous chair and this poof. You guys, I'll link all the products down below if you wanna get your hands on some of Article's beautiful furniture. And then these night tables are actually a natural wood color. And I went back and forth with this because I was like, I don't know if introducing yet another color into this space is gonna work, but I think it does. Again, it like breaks up the white and the blacks and it just adds a little bit more depth to this room. Plus I have drawers and she really wanted nightstands with drawers. Let's talk table lamps. I'm adding table lamps on the top of each of these dressers and I feel like having two matching side tables and table lamps just instantly makes you a grown up. There's something so sophisticated about it and if you're going for that very like clean and neutral look, I would highly suggest doing a matching set of side tables and table lamps like we've done here. So for texture, I'm bringing in this kind of tufted duvet spread for my sister. That's not how you do it. It's a cream color, so it's not a true white. And I really think that this doesn't add color, but it adds that warmth and that texture that the space needs. Another thing I'm doing to add texture is layering rugs. So I got this faux sheepskin rug. It's pretty large. This is also from Ikea. And I'm adding it on top of the rug that she already had. If you have an old rug that you're kind of sick of looking at, or maybe you've just had it for a long time and you're like, maybe I should update my rug. Try layering a smaller rug on top. This is gonna add texture, warmth, but it's also going to elevate the rug that you already have. So the last thing we're putting into this room that is just going to complete the whole vibe is adding this gorgeous pendant light in the center of the room. This pendant light is so textured, it brings in an extra element of warmth and coziness and style, and it just completes this entire space. Now it's time for the finishing touches. So I want you to picture what your room looked like before. Cramped, it looks a little bit cluttered, just a little bit outdated, and definitely does not have the cozy vibe my sister was going for. One, two, three. Oh my God. <laughs> This looks like a hotel. Oh this looks God, so that. good. <gasps> Your little vanity area. We have so much storage. 
a little poof to do your makeup. Oh, so good with the mirror. That really opens it up as well. I agree. And I just want to use the desk you had. 20 bucks from Ikea. Okay, love that. <laughs> Now you have matching nightstands and mm -hmm. lights. Mm -hmm. With drawers. With drawers. Oh my god. It looks so much bigger. Right? Yeah. And the chairs look so good. With the Yay! Oh, you really redeemed yourself. <laughs> yeah, apparently. You can watch TV. I'm jealous. I want to watch TV in bed. Yeah, I'm glad that that looks good there. You're welcome for the television. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Sushi. You're welcome. She don't say that. Thank you, Alessandra. You're welcome. That's so weird. That's so weird. You guys know I am someone who loves color and when Olivia came to me and said like absolutely no pink, absolutely no color, I was a little bit nervous. I didn't want the room to feel flat or sterile, but I really think that we achieved a cozy, inviting, and zen space that still uses a very limited neutral color palette. Thank you so much to Functionative Beauty for sponsoring this video. Make sure you guys use my code down below to get your own supply of shampoo and conditioner. You guys will not regret it. I'm like a true Functionative Beauty fan, so is my sister, and it's the only hair product that we use. So all the links to that will be down below. And as always, I will see you guys next week. Bye.